Here we are at part 17 of my video walkthrough for Dragon Warrior 2. There's, uh, let's see, need 1300 experience, and pretty much like it has been here. Uh, what we're going to do in this part is uh, head into the Tower of the Moon, which um, we get there from the uh, Toon region. And there we are. Alright, another crazy tower. Ooh, an evil clown! I remember the last time we uh, fought one of these, they gave us the uh, Staff of Thunder in the prison of Mindenhall. Uh, but uh, this time he just gives us a wizard one. Oh well, it'll be okay. Um, this tower is not as uh, confusing and messed up as the uh, last one that we were in. I'll try to cover it semi-thoroughly here. Lots of uh, stairways and passageways and doors and whatnot like there was in the other one. I'm trying to think how I want to do all this. Alright, a treasure chest. Uh, searching this chest will net us 115 gold pieces. Which uh, really isn't a whole lot at this point in the game. And uh, more dead end passages here. Let's see, heading over here we got a downward staircase. Which takes us to, ooh, a chest. Inside here, ooh, a medical herb. Alright. Heading back up here. Up here these stairs, we got uh, more passages. So that looks to be uh, pretty dead end over here. Looks like we'll have to go north, which goes nowhere. Oh, I guess it's upstairs again. Let's see, we got an upward staircase and some chests. All right. Searching the chest, we get a bamboo stick. Oh, that's really useful at this point in the game. 259 gold. Well, I guess the gold's not too bad. Let's uh, head up the stairs here again. Except that I uh, got poisoned. Stupid poison. Anyway, though. More stupid poison. See, we got some stairs. Got some more stairs. Working our way to the top of the tower here. Ooh, a chest. And it was empty. Why is the chest at the top of these towers always empty? But anyway. Heading down the staircase that was behind the uh, golden door here. Head down again. Hmm. Does it feel like we're being led somewhere? Hey, an old man. Is he going to attack us? Oh, no, I guess not. And inside this chest we find... Alright, the moon fragment. This will allow us to get into the sea cave where we'll get the Eye of Malroth so that we can go to the path to Rome. But first we gotta get some levels before we do that. Work our way back out of the tower here. I go ahead and just uh, drop off the side. Darn grinding had me all beat up here. Anyway, after resting up, um, I like to grind around the uh, barren area here just because the uh, money's slightly better. Trying to save up the gold to buy Glenn a falcon sword before we uh, head out here. Two basilis, two titan trees. We're like, uh, even though you're higher level in this area, you should still be cautious because these enemies are can be kind of dangerous, especially when we're here at level 17. <laughs> 
Alright, level up. Alane is now level 17. Power increased by 2, reaction speed 3, hit points by 9, MP by 12, and Alani learned a new spell. Well, that was a fairly good level up. The new spell that she learned is... I don't know. I didn't notice. It wasn't have been anything too important. I think it was the outside spell. Here we are in a fight with two hunters and four Magi Draki. But thanks to the Staff of Thunder, we can uh, take the Magi Draki out. No big deal. The hunters are still kind of dangerous though here. Especially if you get a bunch of your uh, defense sapped out. They can better hurting on you. But this is a pretty old school enemy type. Just got new fighter type enemies. Alright, level up. Glenn is now 21. Power increased by 2. Reaction speed 4. Hit points by 4. MP by 8. And, uh... Got my money, heading into the town of Toon here. Gonna buy the Falcon Sword. Alright. Now if you'll notice upon equipping the Falcon Sword, that actually drops our attack power 15 points. But the special ability of the Falcon Sword is that you get two swings around. So uh, at this point in the game, it's probably kind of even. But uh, as... Glenn's strength goes up, he does uh, significantly more damage, I think, with the Falcon Sword than he does for take keeping the Iron Spear. It's um, kind of up to you, it's your preference. But, uh, it's the way I like to build them. Here we got two Orcs and two Titan Trees. It's, uh, pretty mundane stuff by this point, surely. See the uh, two attacks there that Glenn did? Did almost as much damage as Ruto did. The only time the uh, Falcon Sword is actually kind of a, a liability over the Iron Spear is if the defense of the enemies you're fighting is extremely high. But um, toward the end part of the game, those enemies, it's so high that I don't think he can hurt them with the Iron Spear either. Alright, level up. Ruto is 23, power increased by 4, reaction speed 1, hit points 9. Now what we're going to want to do after we level is actually uh, head back to Middenhall. Because that's uh, closer to the sea cave. So I like to go ahead and just take the travel doors to get back there. Except that I can never seem to remember which travel doors to take. Alright, here we are. Exit out of the travel door here, use a repel spell, head back to Minnenhall, rest up and save.